welcome to 4th of December's. Welcome to 4th of January's Godly Blessing. Supreme God Father is guiding us about very subtle things in our life. He has a plan for us and provided that we are following everything to the details that He's guiding us about so that we can reach our completion. That means we can reach the stage where we are supposed to feel complete within. That means no emptiness anymore. So He's got certain guidance for us today and they are very subtle points. But they're very important, crucial points for our life. We're going to explore them in a bit now. The most important thing which we learned about obedience in yesterday's God blessing was that just like when somebody follows someone, let's say a boss or a superior or a senior family member, they get the blessings. Over here also, for us to receive the blessings, we have to be obedient to the Godfather's guidance. So let's go through their certain points, four of them, through which we're going to understand what exactly does the obedience comprise of. So God says, may you have an elevated character and remain constantly powerful by finishing any burden of disobedience about small things. So these are burdens. Now, how do you feel the burdens? Irritation, when we don't follow godly guidance or dictates, let's say frustration, uh, negativity, impurity, or uh, mood swings, are uh, all burdens in our life. So then God here gives us a little bit of guidance to refine or tweak those things which we need to follow so that our burdens are reduced. So in the first he says, you have been directed to wake up at Amritvela, that is 4 o'clock in the morning, and sit for meditation and so you do that. However, you cannot achieve success when the silence of sleep is mixed with sweet silence. Now, there's a difference between you feeling sleepy and drowsy when you're meditating and then there's a difference between you being lightly awake but you being awake in the supreme abode. That means you are connected to the supreme Godfather and you're experiencing that silence instead of the silence of the sleep. So there, there's a difference in this. Now, second thing which he says is, the father's direction is, do not cause sorrow or take sorrow from any soul. So you don't cause sorrow, but you do take it. Somebody says something impure, negative, something which is totally not as what you had expected from someone, very close especially. And then you take sorrow. That means we don't have the power to have self-value. We don't have the power to put a full stop to the other person's thoughts or dictates about us because we don't have our own self-value. We don't have our own self-affirmations. We don't have our own self-respect. That's why somebody else's words are more important to us. So God says that, but you take it. You don't get angry, but you, that's the third thing, you don't get angry, but you become bossy. Now, bossiness is also a form of anger. That means you're trying to get things done by pushing things, pushing people, pushing, pushing situations around you and making sure that they do things as you want them to do. Otherwise, the next step would be angry. Then God says, disobedience in such small things burdens you. And these are the burdens which we feel and that's why we feel, why aren't we having a good meditation? Why my mood is off? So check these things throughout the day. Amritvela, how was it? Were you getting bossy or not? Check those things, whether that bossiness was, was there or not. Check whether you were following the directions of God about not taking any sorrow. Giving sorrow can also be a part of it. Have I, have I given sorrow to somebody today? Have I said certain things? Have I spoken in a harsh manner to someone? Or has somebody spoken harshly to me and I have kept that in my mind? That can also burden you and make you not have a good meditation process. Then God says, now finish that and make your character an image of one who is obedient. And you will then be called souls who have a constantly powerful character. 
somebody who cannot be shaken up somebody who cannot be moved under any circumstance or any situation think about a powerful entity like that that entity is someone who can make other souls connect to the supreme creator the rest of them will be flushed away or flushed out or will be shaken up or uprooted from their limited or weak foundation now that is what god wants us to do he wants us to start a day from a breath well and make us stronger and powerful and wise enough to handle situations and people and have less burden in a mind so that our mind is more peaceful how do you do this how do you reach the situation how do you reach this form of mental state is what you learn in brahma kumaris on a daily basis do come over and learn this beautiful process with this om shanti